Hello viewer. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can integrate Spring Boot application with Kafka. Let me give a brief introduction about Spring Boot and Kafka. Spring Boot is a micro framework. Using this framework, you can build microservices and RESTful APIs and other backend systems. And it simplifies the developer life by providing number of templates which can use to connect other systems like LDAP systems, databases, and other backend applications. Next, the Kafka. Kafka is a distributed streaming platform which follows the publish and subscribe design pattern. Basically, it contains the topics, any producer application or any service application who wants to share their messages or information, they can write these messages into Kafka topics. The consumers who are interested in those messages can subscribe to that specific topic and consume the messages. This is a very basic introduction about Kafka. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can use the Spring Boot application to build producer. The producer component can write the messages into Kafka topics. So how we can utilize the template given by the Spring Boot framework and we can write the messages into Kafka topic. And also we will have the consumer class which can use the Spring Boot specific template called Kafka listeners. So using this listener, you can consume the messages from any Kafka topic. And also we are going to dockerize the Kafka using Docker Compose. And the Spring Boot application will be running on our local laptop and we are going to test once the application is up and running. Let's get started. As usual, to build a Spring Boot application, we are going to use Spring Initializer user interface that is here. And it is going to be a Maven project and we are going to use Java as our language to build this particular Spring Boot application. And we can write the group name that is going to be net vector spring Kafka and we can write docker and it is going to be spring Kafka docker a integration let, let it be int demo project for spring boot Kafka integration I'm going to use 2.3.1 Spring Boot version. And it's going to be JAR and I'm going to use Java 8 version. And we need two dependencies. That is web. And also we need one more dependency. Kafka. Spring for Apache Kafka. So these are the two dependencies that we need to build our application. Let's generate the project. I just unzipped the downloaded project and imported the project into my IntelliJ ID. This is the structure of project. And we have the main class as generated by the Spring Initializer. As I said earlier, I'm going to create a producer class and consumer class. So producer class is going to write messages to Kafka topic and consumer class going to consume the messages from the Kafka topic. Let us create producer class. It is going to be a Kafka producer. The Kafka producer class is going to be a service and a spin service. We need to import the service from the spring framework and we need to create a topic here actually we are declaring the topic name it's going to be static final string as a constant we are going to name it as my topic just like that
and next one we are going to use the Kafka template which is provided by the Spring Framework using this template you can connect your Kafka topic and you can write the messages from producer side so that is going to be private and access type that's a Kafka template because whatever the message that is going to be written to Kafka topic it will have the key and a value key is nothing but a random ID it is created by the Kafka itself of course if you want to really customize the key you can customize that but we are not going to do that and the message is the value is nothing but a message so that is going to be a string we name this as a Kafka template as a variable and we need to auto wire this so we got the Kafka template now we create a method in this method we are going to write some logic to write the messages into Kafka topic this is going to be like send message or write message message is going to be a string so we are going to use this Kafka template and call the send method and pass the message no need to pass the topic name as well that's it very simple right so producer class is ready now we want to have another controller class actually using this controller class we are invoking the producer via rest api so basically we are using a rest api and sending the message this is going to be a rest controller so we are going to create a method of like write message to topic so the message will be coming as a parameter so that is request param it's going to be a message the request parameter will be a message and it is a string so you can type must be void so we are not going to return anything this dot we need a producer class needs to be here and we need to auto wire here so that is going to be private final Kafka. We need to add the constructor. So, producer send message or write message. Yeah. So, we need to pass the message. That's it. So, we need a controller class that is ready now, and we need to white one consumer class it's going to be a Kafka consumer so using this class we are going to consume the message from Kafka topic so it is going to be a service of Spring Boot and we need to connect it so we are going to have a method for the void get message once we get the message we need to connect it with Kafka listener so you Kafka listener is no it always posts the particular subscribed Kafka topic so whenever the new message comes into the Kafka topic this consumer reads the message and we can do whatever it is now we are going to just print it here we are not going to do anything with the message so once the message arrives in the Kafka topic read it and print it that's what this consumer class is going to do so which topic we are going to read that means which topic we are going to listen to and we need to define it here so i define the topic as my topic and also we must have the group id it ensures that let name it as a my group id so that's it the consumer class is ready it's very simple right those spring boot framework provides the required 
listeners and templates to integrate with the Kafka topic or Kafka ecosystem. So using Kafka template, you can connect the Kafka system and you can write the messages and using the Kafka listener, you can consume the messages. And we need to have a properties file here. These two directly is not required for us, just delete. And we can have this as a YAML file, not the properties, just rename it. So this is the YAML file application properties that we have to define it here. So it contains the server port I'm using as 8081. The Spring Kafka and consumer is going to be the bootstrap server is going to be localhost 9090 using this particular address. We are going to access the Kafka topics and the group ID that is defined as my group ID and now auto offset reset. So auto offset reset is nothing but from where you want to read the messages from earliest that means from the you want to read the earliest and the old messages as well and also you can define it as a latest error so it always reads the messages which is arrived as newly let it be as earliest if you don't put anything the default will be the latest key deserializer so whenever you write the messages into kafka topic so it is going to have a key and the value will be the message that you are going to write so the consumer and producer both need the key serializers so whenever a producer wants to write the messages into Kafka topic, it has to serialize and write to Kafka topic. And also the consumer, whenever he wants to read the message, he has to deserialize the message and read it. Otherwise, you cannot read the messages. That is the basic setup of uh, application properties file. And now we need a Docker Compose file. Let's create a Docker Compose. So as you saw in the version, so we are going to have a Kafka consumer service. So let's just let me define the Jukeeper first. Jukeeper is a broker in between Kafka and the consumer or producer. Two people setup is going to be we are going to use image. We are not going to create the topics manually. So if you use this particular environment variable as Kafka create topics, so the system will create the topics for us. So we are going to name it as the topic name and we need three replicas. That's what it needs. One is two. I think this is enough to run the Kafka. Let us run and try. Docker compose up. Some error, we didn't mention the port number for this. Two keeper. Two one eight one. So let's run now. Still the container name is not valid here. Make a spelling mistake. I just deleted the old images of Kafka. Let us run now Docker Compose. So now it is pulling the new image from the Docker Hub. So it takes a couple of minutes to build the Docker image and make it run. I think now Kafka is up and running. Now let us test the API that we have built. Let us look at it now. So I missed something here. So we should, we have done it with post mapping. And we need to give an endpoint publish so that whatever the message we are trying to send with REST API that can be consumed by this particular method and it will write the message into the Kafka topic. So once the message is available in the Kafka topic and the Kafka consumer class consume the message and it will print the 
messaging and the console. Let's try it now. And we are going to use Postman. Now the application is Spring Boot application is running. Now the Spring Boot application is running, and we are going to test this application by sending a message via the REST API that we have defined in the controller class that is uh, here. So let us test. So I'm just passing the message going to hello, how are you? See, so the consumer able to consume the message. So whenever we call the this particular REST API with the message, hello, how are you? And the producer component gets this message and writes the message into this topic. That is my topic. And the consumer we have the Kafka listener so we have assigned the so we are telling the Kafka listener always to listen to this particular topic whenever the new message comes into the topic and get the message and put it on the console so that's what we are doing so we can send one more message See? so we can in this way, Spring Boot provides the in a simple way how you can build a producer class and also consumer class. So that using producer class, you can write the messages into the Kafka topic. And using the consumer component, you can consume the message. So basically in a real time scenario, the producer and consumer are not going to be in the same application. Actually, the producer is a separate application it reads the messages from another system like a databases or maybe the, some other API and gets the message, tries to write the message into the Kafka topic. The consumer is residing somewhere else, might be in the same on-premises or might be the some remote system. Basically, earlier consumer would have subscribed to the specific topic, that is my topic here. It always listens to the that particular topic. So whenever the new message arrived in that topic, consumer application reads the message and do the rest of things. So here in this our application, we are just trying to print it on the console. That's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video using Spring Boot framework, how you can build producer application and also the consumer application. As I said earlier, consumer and producer applications are in very rare cases going to be in the same application but ideologically consumer and producer are separate applications but just for demo purpose i just write consumer and producer in the same application and just try to make you understand how the spring boot framework enables us to consume messages from kafka topic and also how to write the messages into the kafka topic and also we have seen how we can dockerize the kafka system using docker compose and we can run the Kafka setup and we are trying to integrate the Spring Boot application with Kafka topic to write messages and consume messages from Kafka system. Even we can dockerize the Spring Boot application along with Kafka. The Spring Boot application as a service in Docker Compose, we can define it along with Kafka and Zookeeper. If you really need that particular video, please let me know in the comment section. I will make the video dockerizing complete Spring Boot application along with Kafka and Zookeeper components so that we can run Spring Boot, Kafka and Zookeeper all at once using Docker Compose and we can test it. If you are able to try this scenario, just try it. That's it guys. So if you like this video, like it. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any feedback and any questions, put them in comment section. Definitely I'll come back to you. Until then, goodbye.